hi lovely people welcome back to my tutorial for today thank you so much for your support thank you for your love thank you for stopping by and please if this is your first time kindly help us by hitting on that red icon to subscribe and also turn the notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever i upload a new video so in our today's class we shall be looking at how to make a very beautiful lab coat for doctors for med lab and um um lab scientists okay all right so here i'll be doing this for for a girl of uh eight years okay so here i have my length i'm using the length of 30 inches and i added two inches extra for uh, folding i'll be using one and a half for the folding and half an inch to hold the shoulder Okay, so here I have my half length and I have the hip measurement. Okay, so the shoulder we are working with is 14 inches divided by 2 to give us uh, 7 inches. Okay, first I folded this fabric into 2. Okay, um, I'm cutting out the back piece first before cutting the front part because of the um, the button at the front part so we'll be cutting the back piece then we we'll use it to cut out our front piece all right so the shoulder is 14 inches divided by two to give us seven inches so i'm starting my measurement from this folded part okay so here we mark our seven we mark our seven inches here then we mark our shoulder slope Okay, here I will count down by half an inch. Okay, all right. From, from that half inch, now I'll mark our armhole measurement. And the armhole I'm working with is 15 inches divided by 2 to give us 7.5. Okay, all right. But because this is an, um, the armhole is supposed to be free because it's a free dress. So instead of me to use that 15 inches, I'll add extra 1 inch and I'll make it 16 inches. So I'll be using 8 inches of that 7.5. Okay, so here I'll just make a straight line to connect it. Or you can also take that your shoulder measurement, which is 7 inches, so that it will be accurate. Okay, so here I'll just make a straight line to connect it. Okay, so at this point now, I will also draw a straight line here for our bust measurement. Okay, so here the bust I'm working with is uh, 34 inches plus our allowance. I've added allowance of uh, 5 inches to it, okay? So 34 divided by, divide by 4 to give us 8.5. Okay. So here I'll mark my 8.5 inches and I'll add extra allowance of uh, add extra allowance of one inch. Okay. Here the waist I'm working with is 28 inches. I added extra five inch to it to make it 33 inches. Okay, so 33 divided by four will give us eight point uh, Two five. So here I'll add extra one inch. Okay. The hip I'm working with is thirty five inches plus four to give us plus five to give us forty inches. So divide by four to give us ten. And I'll add extra one inch for our allowance okay all right so all together i have here 11 inches so at this down part i will come down by that same 11 inches okay i will mark my 11 inches then i'll connect my lines okay Okay, for all those measurements, is optional. I've just did this to give it a little bit of shape because it's um, it's a girl's dress. All right. If we were to be a man, I would just uh, 
make it uh, a straight so that it won't be having any shape. I just did this to bring out the curvedness or the shape of the of the girl. Okay, all right. So I'll just connect all those all those lines. Okay, so for our hole, I'll just find the midpoint. Four inches. So I'll just connect those to the bust measurement. Okay. All right. So for the neck, for the neck width, I'll be using um three inches. Oh, sorry. I'll be using three inches for our neck width, and for the neck depth, I'll be using one inch for the back. Okay. So here I'll just connect it. All right, so here I also connect our shoulder slope. Hope it's clear enough. All right, so here I'm using one inch and three inches, okay, for the neck. Okay, so I'll just go ahead now and cut it out. Okay, so. I've cut out the back piece and I've placed it on another fabric folding into two to cut out the front piece. All right, so here I have, I'll be marking uh, five inches each for our, our bolting and um, facing, okay? I'll be using it to do the facing and I'll also use it for our bolting hole. So I'll just mark five inches down. I'll just mark five inch from here down to our hemline. Okay. So I'll just make a straight line here to connect it. Okay, so here I'll just go ahead to cut this out. I'm also tracing out the the sides. Okay, so I just did this so that it will be clear enough of what we are doing. Okay. Okay. So. Okay, the next thing is to mark three and a half inches, okay? I'll just mark three and a half. Okay. So here, I will notch this three and a half. Now fold it in.
okay so i'll be using this left out here for our button hole okay all right so here i will notch out those three inches okay so i will mark our front neck so for the front i'll be using three inches for the front depth okay all right so here i will just connect those three inches here to our neck width Okay, so here I'll just go ahead now and cut this out. Okay, so here this we serve as our SSS. So because I've cut out where I notched, I have to notch this part, this part again, so it will guide me when I'm sewing. Okay, so this is it. So the next thing to do now is to cut out our sleeve. Okay, so you can see it's very, very easy and simple. Okay, for our sleeve length is... um. 17 inches. I added extra one inch for folding. Okay. All right. So our measurement will be starting from this part. So for our armhole to get our caps height, I've done a tutorial on how to calculate and get a perfect cap size. So for this, the cap size I'm working with is three inches. Okay. I'll be leaving a description on how to calculate your cap size and to get your perfect sleeve on the description button. So you can just click there and watch. Okay. So here I'll just make a straight line at those three inches where we'll be putting our armhole measurement. Okay. So here the armhole we work with is 16 inches by two to give us um, eight inches. Okay. All right, so I'll be adding extra one and a half inch for our allowance. Okay, all right, so from here now I will just connect it. Okay. Okay. If you don't understand what I did, don't worry, just click on it and you will understand better. Okay. So here for the round sleeve, I'm working with um, 9 inches by 2 to give us 4 and a half. So I'll be adding a extra one each for our allowance. Okay. Alright. So here I will just connect this down. Okay. Alright. So I'll just connect this. and cut this out okay all right of course you know that this sleeve is not um it's not going to be tight it's going to be free so i'll just use this now to cut out the second okay here i have everything cut out this is our sleeve i've cut out the remaining sleeve okay then this is our pocket the downside pocket and this is for the upper pocket the chest pocket okay all right so i'll just use half an inch to fold it okay by the both sides and the down then stitch it up at the chest part of the 
dress okay all right then i'll do the same thing to this i'll just use half an inch to close it up okay then i'll fix it at the side or uh, down part of the dress all right then after that i will just um uh, i'll be cutting out the facing for the back neck okay then i will tape it then after that i will hold the the both shoulders okay i will hold the I will sew up the front and the back shoulders after which we will take the round neck to cut out our collar okay so let me just go to the machine and do the joining of the of the uh, both uh, shoulders okay then i'll come back we we'll take the round sleeve and we we'll cut out the collar all right okay so here i have um I've carefully joined the two shoulders. Sorry, I said something about cutting facing for the back. Sorry, it's um uh, a slip of tongue. It's a mistake, actually, because it's going. Um, this is going to be having a collar, so we don't need any facing for the back piece. Okay, all right. So here, I have also joined my sleeve to the armhole side, but I've not closed it up. Okay, I've joined it as we used to join our uh, shirt. Uh, sleeve okay i've just stitched it up this way okay all right so here for the color i will just fold this into two okay so here is our initial um, notched that we did for our for our um, button home okay all right so here i'll just as i fold it this equal this way i'll go in by by one one quarter that's 1.25 okay i'll go in by 1.25 then i will notch it again okay i'll notch this part okay so from here i will fake our round neck to cut out our collar so here i'll measure it out this way so here i have 8.25 so which is a which is 16, seven, uh, 16 and a half inches. Okay. Okay. So here I'll go ahead and cut out our collar. Okay. So here I um, I have this long like this. I'll be just folding it into two to cut out our collar. Okay. All right. So what we have is um 8.2 five went folded into two okay so i'll just mark my 8.25 and i'll add my stitching allowance okay i'll be taking this measurement at this down part here this way 8.25 I'll use a uh, half an inch for my stitching okay so I'll be using the length of uh, three inches you can use two and a half depending on how you want it to be I'll be using three inches for my stand okay all right so here I'll come up by half an inch this way So first I will just make a straight line here at this 3 inch and I will take this 3 to make sure that I have my 3 inches. Okay, I also mark the 3 inches here so I will just connect it to the straight line. Okay. So when I did this now, the half an inch that I came up with, I will connect this half an inch here to meet this center line here. This way, I will connect it 
like so. From those three inches, I will connect it to those half an inch. Okay. All right. So I'll take back my measurements. The measurement I'm taking back. Okay. So whatever thing I have, I have um, 8.75. I'll come up here by that 8.75. Then I'll connect my lines. I'll connect it to the half an inch. Then I'll go ahead now and cut it out. Hope it's clear enough. Here, I take uh, what we have, which is our 8.25 here. Then I, from that 8.25, I come up by half an inch. Then from that half an inch now, I connect. I connected it to this um, center part. Okay. So here, I take back my measurements and from this half an inch to this uh, center part, I have 9.25. 9.75 okay so that 9.75 now i measure that 9.75 at those folded points to those parts and whatever wherever I, it stops i connected it to this half an inch so here i will just go ahead and cut it out we are cutting out to the line of that half an inch that we came up with okay Okay, so just open it up this way. So at this point now, you can decide to you can decide to open up this air. You can decide to open up here, or you can just decide to leave it this way. Okay, all right. So the next thing I will do now is just to cut out my head stay. Okay, to gum it so that it will make it to have a little bit of weight. You can use your hair stay. You can use your light pepper stay. Okay, but here I'll be using my hair stay. So I'll just go ahead and use my iron to iron it up to the fabric. Okay, I'll just use my iron to iron it down. And after that, I'll go to my machine and stitch it up with half an inch. Okay, I will stitch it up this way. Use from the back side. I will stitch up with half an inch okay this side and this side okay after which i will now turn it over and down close of those down parts before attaching it to the neck of our dress okay i think we will go to the machine to do the joinings to cater so that you will understand it better so the what I will do now is just to join here with half an inch, uh, sorry, 0 0.25 and also the other side, okay? So I'll turn to the wrong side of the dress and I'll take it out. I'll just cut out this sharp edge and these two and i'll turn to this other side and i'll stitch it up again with 0 0.25 i'll take my tape to measure it so that it will be accurate
So after this now, flip it over. So after turning it, I'll now go ahead and uh, close it up. Okay. Okay, so after stitching it up, I will take it inside at the front facing. This is the front face. Okay, so I'll put it inside the square. Then I will first notch out the center part of the uh, of the back. Okay, the center part of the back. I will first notch it out. Then I will use my pin to hold the center part of the collar to the center part of the back. I will use my pin to hold it up. Okay, so now when I hold it up, I will fix in this way to touch where our collar is stand starting from. Okay this point then i'll flip it in the sx for the facing we take it inside okay so at this point now you can decide to make this to be equal but when you do it when you open it up it will be equal with the color but i will decide to do it or maybe let me just sew it small and show you what i mean okay this way when this is touching here, we make this color to touch those uh, the that the notch that we did. Okay, then we flip it in this way. I'll just stitch it small and show you something. But I'll be using it out to show you the main one. Okay. So this now, when you op open up this one, it will give you something like this. To give you something like this. So when you look at it, you will see that here is equal. Okay. So I don't like this part. So I'll be showing you the one that we'll be using for this dress i'll just go ahead and lose out this okay so i've lose it up so i'll just take this color like this okay i'll place it at this point then i'll fold it inward i'll fold the facing in okay then i'll leave like one inch I'll leave like one inch and make sure that whatever thing you leave, look at what I mean. When you look at here, when you look at this point, I'm just trying to see to show it to be clear. Okay, so here, when you look at this point, you see that this thing, look at the excess we have, place it here. Okay. Then close it up this way. Then you leave excess here. As you can see, it's not equal. Look at the color here. Then look at the excess here. So just make sure that what you have here is up to one inch. So that you can be able to take the accurate measurements at the other end. Okay? Alright. So here, I'll just make sure I have up to one inch here. Okay? Then I'll stitch it up. So I'll just go ahead and... I'm reaching at the other side, I have to flip it in, okay? Then make sure that I have off to one inches this side. The same thing we did for the other side, okay? All right, so I'll just go ahead. Okay. okay, so after stitching, we have this. So I'll just go ahead and uh, open it up this way. This way. Okay. 
then do the same thing here okay so as you can see so this is the one inch that we left out okay instead of being straight i think this this way is better and finer okay all right so i'll just go ahead now and go to my weaving machine and weave out those the facing the down part the neckline the armhole okay all right then i'll use my one inch allowance to close up this the sleeve the the both sides okay all right and of course i'm going to weave the down part then i'll fold it in by one inch by one and a half inch okay all right so i'll just go that do that quickly and then after which i will turn the front face and attach my my pocket okay the side pocket and the chest pocket and that will be all i'll come back and show you the finishing part okay so thank you for watching till the end to so meet in my next class keep watching and keep dreaming high till i show you the finishing parts don't stop keep watching and please if you have not subscribed kindly do so by hitting on that red icon to subscribe and also touch the notification bell to select all to be the first to be notified whenever i upload a new video thank you for watching thank you so so much and please don't skip the ads